Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Simple Truth. It's uh, Cloud Witch sandwiches. This is the sage chicken sausage uh, with cheese and egg. And it's egg based cloud bread bun. That's what that one's on. It looks like a little waffle. And this one is the Cloud Witch maple chicken sausage, cheese, and egg. And it's also an egg based cloud bread bun. We bought these at Kroger. They were $6.99 per box. Each box was $6.99. Um, they are 9.1 ounces, 257 grams. So let me talk about the maple one first. It is. Um, 260 calories per sandwich, or you can eat both sandwiches, there's two in the container, for 510 calories. And then the um, sage one is 270 calories, so 10 more, and 530 calories if you eat both of them. Uh, the directions for both of these are the same. Let me see if I can get them up. There we go. So we're going to remove the cloud, the cloud witch from the packaging and wrap with a paper towel and double check and then they say the same thing. Place in the microwave on high for two minutes and then allow 30 seconds to cool prior to enjoying. So I have to do these um, like one at a time. So let me, let me get this one first. Um, I don't want the sage one first. I want the, I want this one first. Yeah, that's what that one looks like. And this one, I'm trying to keep them separate, so it's going to make some noise. It doesn't say anything about flipping it over or anything like that. But you can see the cheese is a little off center. Put it back. Put that on there. Even uh, frozen, they feel a little, uh, the bread feels a little soft, so it's not bad. So I'm going to wrap this up just like this. So that's the, that's the maple one. And then this one, looks like that. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna microwave them individual. I'll do this one first, and then I'll do the, the um, sage one, and I'll be back. Okay, so here they are out of the microwave, and you can tell the cheese really leaked on the, uh, the, um, the maple one. Yeah, really stuck. <laughs> Let's pull most of the cheese off of there. Well, anyway, that's what it looks like. There are some, there's some cheese still on there, but boy, it did pull off a lot. So anyway, that's the maple, and this is the sage. Didn't leak as much, but it did leak a little bit. Uh, two things I want to mention. Um, yeah, you can see it did pull off a little bit. Um, you don't thaw these out first. You, you cook them from frozen, so they go straight from the freezer to the microwave. And I dropped my time by 15 seconds, so I only did a minute and 45 seconds because I have a pretty... Um, strong microwave and I knew if I went to a full two minutes it would probably just burn them to death because the, the cheese was already melting it's like if I keep doing this it's just gonna burn so I dropped my dime to, to uh, 145 and still two minutes so anyway I'm gonna get these over the table and uh, we'll give them a try hey okay, I'm gonna try the maple one first uh, not only is it thinner because <laughs> all the cheese came off look at the difference between the two um, this one is the sage this one is the maple one the cheese is the biggest difference, I think, um, for sure. Uh, the, the waffle, the bread, cloud bread, whatever it's called, uh, it's pretty much the same. So, and this was a little bit darker as far as the, the coloring goes on the, on the actual cloud bread. There we go. I think it's funny that the maple one, which you would think would have more sugar and stuff, is 10 less calories than the other one. Um, I like the texture. It's good and soft. The, uh, the chicken sausage has a decent texture to it too. Sometimes chicken sausage can be really dry. This is not. It's actually a nice texture. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of moisture there. The, um, 
you get the spices from the sausage, but it's not like a really hot sausage, but you do get some of that, that seasoning from the sausage. Um, the egg has a nice flavor. The maple, you do get a little bit of the maple. I mean, you can definitely tell it's not just a regular cloud witch. Um, it's, a, it's a maple one. Hmm. I pulled all the sausage out. Hmm. It's good. Um, I want to try it without the sausage anyway, so that's good. There's a little bit of a chew to that the bread on the out the on the edges, but it's not like tough and chewy. It's just got a little bit more chew texture than the center part does. It's a little softer on the inside. Not bad. It, it's 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 a nice flavor. It's a nice texture. Um, they didn't go overboard with the flavors, so it's, it's kind of milder in the flavors. It has flavors for sure, but it's just not really like a bold sausage flavor. It's not a really bold maple. It's it's kind of muted and, and mild. So let me try the one that's the it's the sage chicken sausage. So this one I should get more of that traditional sausage spices, I would think. I taste the cheese in that one because the cheese stayed a lot better. And it actually seems more egg-like. Um, well, I'm getting the flavor of the egg more than I did on the other one. Mm -hmm. That's funny because the, um, the egg is the same for both of them. The cheese is the same for both of them for that matter. Um, I don't know why the sage one would be um, like a stronger egg flavor than the other one because they're basically the same. Well, they're, the egg is a little bit thinner on the first one. Not by much, but it is a little bit thinner. So maybe that's the difference. Um, I'm not sure. Could be the maple also kind of overpowered the egg a little bit in the maple one. I'm not getting that sage flavor. I was expecting to really taste a strong sage, but I'm really not. Let me try just, let me, let me just eat the sausage. When you eat the sausage by itself, you get a little bit of that sage flavor that, and that traditional like sausage flavor, but it's not really strong. Again, the flavors are kind of uh, muted and mild. Um, when you eat it all together, like the sausage and the egg and everything, you really get a little bit of sausage, but mostly the egg and some of the cheese. And when you eat it without any sausage at all, you literally just taste egg and cheese. Um, so it's good. I actually, I, I like both of them. Um, I think I may like the sage one better just because it's, um, you get more of that egg and cheese flavor. Although the maple one's really nice too because you do get that sweet maple flavor. Um, just know that both of these are kind of muted in flavor. Again, they're not really, really strong. Texture is fine. Um, just know your microwave and know when to, to let it go to the full two minutes or go a little less. If you've got a, um, you know, seven to thousand watt microwave, you're probably okay going with the two minutes. Anything above a thousand, that's just my personal opinion, you probably should drop your time down a little bit. Um, it's gonna cook a lot better if you do that. Uh, overall, it's good. They needed more flavor for me, honestly, to give, to give a higher rating, but I'm gonna give them a three and a half out of five. I do like them. Um, I don't think they're better than the, some of the other brands out there of these sandwiches that aren't clad which, but they're, just breakfast sandwiches. I like a lot of those better because they have more flavor, but this is not bad. And if you're looking for, uh, you know, free from um, unwanted ingredients and no certified synthetic colors and no artificial flavors, if you're looking for that kind of thing, just know that the flavors are a little more mild than, than the other ones. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.